Hello, I'm Luca Torix, and welcome to part 15 of the Bad Economy Challenge on Rome Total War. And we start off with a pretty big battle for Capua. Ricky, the Conqueror, has been attacked by Giuliano Scipio and Captain Secundus. That is where we left the last episode. Now, this will not be particularly easy. They have more men than us, about 300 more men. They're Roman troops, so obviously they're good. They've got a good Roman general in Giuliano Scipio. And they've got two armies, so... You know, it'll, it'll be very interesting to see how this goes. And also, our army is slightly depleted in the sense that some of our archers aren't as strong as they should be. You can see one of our archers is down to 29 men in the unit, which isn't exactly ideal. But it's very, very important that we win this. Well, yeah, no, it is. I'm not going to dance around it. It is very, very important we win this. Reason is, a good victory here, particularly if we kill Giuliano Scipio, means that Capua could be ours either now or within this episode and we really need to start making moves on the rest of Italy so this is the perfect opportunity to take Capua we really need to take it and um, basically let's just see how we we do it's gonna be a very very interesting start to the episode we lost a couple of settlements last time but we did gain a very very important one which you'll know if you saw the episode so let's get straight into it no messing around let's see if we can beat the Scipii in a tough tough battle I will have to say this is fascinating Something I actually didn't realise until about three seconds ago. It wasn't the army outside the city that attacked us. It was the army inside the city that attacked us. It's a Sally battle and I totally missed that. Okay, um, that's actually not good because we don't get any time to prepare. Right, so okay, so we have one army coming from over here. And then of course the other army is coming from Capua itself. Right, okay, so what we need to do is we need to act very, very quickly. We need to get the lads that are holding ladders and rams and all that to stop holding that and then get into a good position. The awkward thing is that the armies are coming from such sort of different positions that we really need to sort of find a place where we face them both at the same time. Now, I'm looking at this hill, which I can't quite click over to, but you can see this hill. Nice inclined position could work out pretty well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and set up the army. First of all, lads need to drop the ladders. So we'll get him to drop the ladders. I will get him into formation and I'll show you what I'm planning. Right, so they've dropped the ladders very, very quickly. Good. Okay. Right, so what we want, we want a line of spearmen as per usual. In fact, I'm going to have a full... Do I want a full line of spearmen? Yes. No, I don't. Okay. Needs to be a bit more decisive. So you lads are going to be like this. We're going to have you two protecting the flanks and the same tactic as usual, which is we'll have them protecting the flanks, but if the Romans attack from the front, they will come round the side, round the back and hit them and they'll be screwed. They'll be surrounded. That's the sort of plan. And then we'll have you uh, coming along over here. The only reason I'm not setting up facing the city is I'm worried that these guys over there are going to sneak up on me and hit me from the back and then we'll be well and truly done for. So... That's why I'm setting up over here, because we can kind of see both armies at the same time. Archers will be here, like so. And then we'll have one barbarian warlord, Ricky, the uh, conqueror, will be over here. And then his friend, whose name I've forgotten, will be over here. Now, all of you run. And we want the archers off skirmish mode. So do that very quickly and I'll show you the plan. Right, awkward thing is the Romans have already started to come out. And I told these guys to get out of phalanx and they still seem to be in phalanx. Even though... What is going on? Get out of phalanx and run, lads. Come on. No, not in phalanx. What are they doing? Do what you're told. The Romans have already started to come out, which is not ideal because we haven't actually got into formation yet. And I really ideally wanted to get back further onto that hill, but we haven't managed to do so in time because the Rome's been so quick off the mark. Like, why are you in phalanx? Hurry the hell up. Right, good, okay. Now, all of the spearmen get into phalanx now. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to move back into the position which I wanted, which was up on that hill. Not at the moment. Maybe before that army comes, maybe if we have a quick break, we can run for it, but the German armies are slow. That's the problem. They're not very maneuverable, um, which is a slight issue. I'm gonna get these lads into formation, um, like so. And, I mean, they're quite far away. We could make a run for it. Don't want to risk it, to be honest, though. Don't particularly want to risk it. This is going to be a tough, tough fight. The Romans seem to be messing around a little bit, so I'm actually going to run for it. Over there. 
Um, Phalanx troops, get out of Phalanx quickly. You need to be as quick as you can. I'm going to run for the hills. I'm quite, quite literally, we are running for the hills. This isn't a retreat. We are just running back to get a better defensive position. Fortunately, it's right in the corner. I don't want to cheat by using the corner. Um, I just want to get up on this hill, kind of like around here. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Like up. Here, that's a really good position to be at. That's a horrible position with the Romans and a great position for us. Now, are the Romans pursuing us? I don't think they are, so we're doing well. I'm actually going to get slightly out of the corner. I'll explain why in a minute. I do indeed consider corner fighting uh, cheating. So let's just go here. That's not in the corner, and I'll explain in a minute why I consider what I call corner fighting cheating. Well, I'll explain now quickly. If you fight in the corner, a defensive position like this, because the enemy units cannot physically get around this barrier to attack you, it means basically you're unflankable. These red lines means you, just, you can't be flanked if you're in the corner, which I consider cheating because obviously in real life you can't just say, we're going to set a boundary and you can't flank me. There are no rules like that in real life. So I'm going to set up over here, still on the hill, but still giving them plenty of room to flank me if they want to because I do indeed consider corner fighting, uh, in quotation marks, cheating. Look at the horde of Romans coming over. That is a lot of Romans. That's about 1,300 Romans. Um, the interesting thing is, they basically abandoned the city. There is no one in the city. If we could theoretically sneak someone into the city and take the plaza, you never know. But I, I don't think that's going to be very viable, to be honest. Um, right, lads, you've done well to get into position. Get your spears down. And get your spears down and you see I've left them just enough room to flank if they want to and they've got plenty of room to flank over this side so I don't consider this cheating I'm gonna get the archers off fire at will I do not want them firing at Equites complete waste of ammunition complete waste I'm still not gonna fire because I know they're gonna fire at the Equites they're the closest unit and there's no point I'm quite happy with them firing later there's plenty of troops them to fire at um, it should be fine. So the Equites are not even bothered about. They're going to be screwed straight away. Um, there's no way they're going to get through a phalanx, that's for sure. And they're already shaken. They've barely touched the phalanx. They're just going to run around. And, well, the captain's dead. That's a good start because that army, that army, um, well, he's pretty much screwed now. Their morale is going to be very, very low. Captain Secundus' army is down. Right, now you can fire because I want you firing at, like, troops like Astarte and all that. But pretty decent start but obviously Equites they were never going to be a challenge anyway that unit has broken as well though those Astarte have broken okay that's pretty good um, I'll take that two units have just collapsed straight away and again it's because the captain died they had to run up a hill they're exhausted the, their morale was low before they even reached us um, we have troops firing up from a hill straight down at them causing loads of damage right they've collapsed as well another unit of Astarte and Astarte getting to the point where they're starting to become a little bit redundant they're not really as you know good anymore um, and we have strong German troops of course so good start very good start I will say that indeed you should have your spears down um, yeah you do just for some reason you didn't okay so pretty good start but only like three units dealt with out of quite a few and they're trying to flank us over this side but we have got this unit around here to prevent that at the very very least a mass of troops here. It'll be very interesting to see whether they can penetrate the phalanx. We do have the generals to trap them, though, as per the plan. But I, you know, don't want to risk the generals too much, particularly Ricky the Conqueror. He is a fantastic general. There's no way I want to sacrifice him here. The Romans are engaging now. They've, they've engaged. Now, these Equites aren't going to stand a chance. Um, okay, okay. Not all the units have engaged yet, so I don't want to bring the generals around. Let's see how they're doing, though. Shaken, shaken, shaken. The morale's not very high. Astarte is steady over there. Um, okay, well, nobody's collapsed yet. This unit of Astarte is shaken. They're charging from the general. I reckon they might be a little bit stuck. Uh, no, they're still shaken. No wavering now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, some of the Roman armies are... Well, quite a lot of it's collapsed. Okay, quite a lot of it's collapsed. Let's pause for a second. How are you doing? You're wavering. Well, we've only lost one man, so that's fine. A lot of this has collapsed. Right, Ricky, it's time for you to do your job. Um, right, what's this? Cabri Auxilia, that's fine. Right, Ricky is going to start mopping up, and I think really we need to get this general to start mopping up as well, to be honest. Just get over there, deal with them, um, and that should be pretty good. 
Now, I don't know who you're chasing, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. What is this unit doing? I have no idea. Okay. Ricky, dealing with units over there. This general killing a lot of units here. We don't want them getting back to Capua. Because we want to take Capua pretty soon. Uh, we don't want them getting back. So start chasing lads off. I know there's a couple of men over there. There is a Roman. There's two Roman generals. Okay, we need to be a little bit careful. Because we don't want Roman generals to uh, be getting involved. This general is fighting a unit which hasn't broken yet. Principes, yeah. So again, don't particularly want to be getting involved with that. You guys to start chasing these units off. We don't want too many of them getting back to city. You should be running, by the way. So, this unit of war dogs is wavering. We can get them down. What ideal world, the generals charge into the phalanx and they're done for. But I think the general is going to go for my general. So, it's annoying, but I'm going to have to get these guys back. Even though they might escape. Because I need the general to charge into the phalanx. So, run up this hill, lads. Make sure that general charges in to the phalanx. We cannot have it any other way. Right, now I don't know which general this is. Um, it doesn't look like Juliana Scipio. That one's going to be Juliana's. It's got more cavalry to it. Um, interesting though. Okay. So, we need to get the generals down. I don't really care if too many of these guys get away. It's the generals that are important. You get around the flank here. You um, get... I mean, there are still Principes up here. Um actually have sneaked around the side here if I'd corner fort this wouldn't have happened but don't like cheating yet yeah, yet yeah, stop firing peeler at me please not very nice charge into them they're steady they're broken good good charge good charge let's get into those astarte as well okay let's pause it for a second again because I need to look at what's happening this general is shaken we do not want him to get away so you start getting around the front here and get around the back of the general um, this general has done a very, very good job. Just get rid of those Principes before they do any damage. He's routing. No, he's not actually. He's wavering. He decided to back off, which was a sensible thing to do. So you retreat behind the phalanx. You retreat behind the phalanx. What is this unit doing? Like, they're meant to be on defensive mode. So they shouldn't be chasing anyone. I have no idea. Like, this, this unit... Not behaving very well. Okay, we haven't got any generals down. We've killed 55% of them, which is a lot of Romans. Not as many as I'd like, admittedly, um, but still a lot. I mean, I'm not really quite sure what's going on with these Principes, but it's fine. The important thing is getting the generals down. Unfortunately, we haven't managed to do so yet. This general looks like he's ready to charge, so... Barbarian Warlord, get around the side here. You know, just get ready to start chasing him if he starts routing, because that will be very, very important. And the other Roman generals there as well, so it's important to get them both down, really. Um, I wish we had some, like, cavalry or something like that with us, but, hey, you don't get everything you want in life, so there you go. He is about to go into that phalanx, um, for sure. So, Ricky, get around here. You get around here. He's engaged. He's engaged with the phalanx. So, get around the front. Get around the front. Ricky, you need to be quick. Come on, you're Ricky the Conqueror. You do not mess around. Get around the back. Kill Juliana Scipio. Now, other general. Pause for a second. Where is the other Roman general? Principes, where did he go? I swear there was another Roman general that was about to charge. That's one. That's Juliana Scipio. Is that him? Is that him? That is him. Lad, you need to get over here quick because he might escape, even though there's two of them. Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead. Right. Pause for a second. Who died? Sextus... Oh, I haven't seen that name before. Sextus Maximian. That Maximian, I've not seen that name before. That is pretty cool. Um, well, he's dead. So that's good. Now he's get Juliana Scipio down. So you into Juliana Scipio. You are defending well against Juliana Scipio. Well enough, I suppose. How well is he doing? He should be trapped. He's shaken. Ricky is a good, good fighter. Ricky will do the job. Absolutely do the job. Um, this phalanx is slightly collapsing, but here we go. He's dead. Ricky does his job yet again. I'd like to imagine that Ricky got the kill himself. Juliana Scipio is dead. Good. The generals now get around the back of the phalanx. Get around the back of the phalanx. I want you to basically replace that phalanx there because they kind of collapsed. And the job is pretty much done now. A few troops managed to get back to the city, which is kind of a shame. But hey, it's all right. It's a sacrifice that we can afford to, uh, you know make today because we had to kill the generals we did a fantastic job of doing that i don't think we're going to quite get the city today but you never know uh you never know but um fantastic start and there's no way we're losing this now i can say that with a good amount of confidence in fact 
let's get... I mean, to be honest, I reckon the generals can start chasing these lads down. Like, Shake and Astarte, let's just get them down. Let's just get them down. Come on. Let's kill as many of them as possible. I think we can do the rest of this with the cavalry uh, alone. And if we kill, as I say, if we get to 90% of them killed, and we've killed the generals, that's not a factor. 90% of these guys we get killed, um, then we've got the city. We've got Capua with not many losses, a few, but we're fighting Romans, so what can you really expect? Um, okay, good good work there. You, just get on those Astarte, just get all the routing units. We're not going to be able to get those guys, they're too far in a distance. I don't think we're going to quite be able to get to 90% of them. Because th there's no way all of this is 30% of their army, but it it's alright, it's alright. So I'm not going to show you really the rest of this because it's not really worth watching. It's just basically me picking off various routing units. I'll show you if anything exciting happens, but I doubt it to be honest. So we've got to 83% of them. You never know, we could kill another 7%. Um, I, dangerously close to the towers though, Ricky is, um, which is a little bit concerning. You know what? We could potentially take... We've got ladders right now. Could we potentially take the city? Hmm, maybe. We've killed so many of them. Just let's have a look. So, Spear Warp, can you pick up the ladders? Get out of Phalanx. Can you pick up the ladders? You can. Well, that is interesting. Yeah, you two, pick up the ladders. And then a couple of other Phalanx lads like you guys start wandering over here. Um, so, like, you lot. Start wandering over here. You know what? We could potentially, if we don't even get up to 90%, we could kill them inside the city. Um, yeah, but Ricky's getting dangerously close to towers, which is kind of stressing me out a little bit. And technically, we haven't won the battle yet. So, we kind of need to do something, because at the moment, we are not going to win this. Even though, like, the balance of power is ridiculously in our favour. For some reason, there are still some units, like this unit here, of random Equites, which is just not routed yet. Or they got back to the city and then um, managed to reform their formation. So, yeah. The enemy army runs. Ricky the Conqueror. Yeah, they broke. They broke at the sight of Ricky the Conqueror. Can't blame them. He is starting to get hit by the towers, but he's a strong lad. I think he can deal with it. I want to get up to 90%. Continue the battle, because I want to make sure we get the city. I think we can do that. You know what? He might be able to just charge in the city himself. Like, because the, the, the doors are open. Just charge in the city. And you might be able to get through while the gates are still open. That would be genius. Maybe Ricky can do it all on his own. Go on. Please say the gates don't reject you. Some of them are through. Some of them are through. Ricky is taking hits, though, so he needs to be a bit quicker. Get through the gate, lad. Come on. Right. Good start. He's taken a couple of hits, but the generals will regenerate. It's not, a, you know, it's not a huge deal. Get to the plaza. I, you know, I reckon we can take Capua. I really do. Um, so just charge the plaza. Be as quick as you can. Get out of the way of the towers. What are you doing? Um, the friend of Ricky. Um, just, just chase that Prinkapez off. Why not? Right, so you need to be super quick because some of your bodyguard are going down. And I swear down, if Ricky gets killed to a tower, I won't be very happy. That will be a very undignified death for such a great warrior uh, like Ricky himself. There will be quite a few troops in the plaza. Probably too many for 30 bodyguards to deal with, to be honest. But I want to see what's on their plaza. It's not going to be very good, whatever it is. Be quicker, Ricky. You're being very, very slow. I know you're tired. You've run a huge, huge distance. I know. I know. I don't know if you can hear that, it's literally a thunderstorm going on outside. I hope I hope you can't hear the rain. Oh wow, yeah, really heavy rain going on outside. Okay, shouldn't be a problem, I don't think you should be able to hear it. The valley's pretty mad. Anyway, back to Capua. Uh, taking the immersion out of it a little bit, um, but I'm, I apologise for that. Right, let's get to this plaza. There's not a lot left. I think Ricky might be able to take it, but they have infinite morale. I don't know if I want to risk it. Right, first of all, we'll deal with these routing cavalry auxilia. First of all, let's get him down. That gets us up to 89%. What's on the plaza then? We have a couple of generals bodyguard, but not the general himself. The thing is, ah, the thing is, they have to leave the plaza at some point because they are sallying forth. They have to leave the plaza, they can't just sit and defend it. So they're going to have to get off the plaza and lose their infinite morale at some point, and then the general can mop it up. Beautiful. I didn't think about that. as wonderful. 
You see, this unit has wandered off the plaza. It had to. It had no choice. Although they broke actually before. Ah, oh, that's annoying. They broke too quickly. Come on. Get them before they reform. No, nope, too late. But we'll be quicker next time. We'll be quicker. So Ricky is slightly getting swarmed, but he's swarmed by routing troops, so it should be fine. I want to get these guys down to last man. That'd be beautiful. I think Ricky might single-handedly take the city himself. Well, I say that. He had a help from a lot of phalanx, but, like, the last bit was all Ricky if he does this. So Ricky is down to 15, which is a little bit concerning. Um, yeah, but it's all right. And I can't really get any other troops in. To be fair, the Phalanx have probably got to the ladders by now, but CBA, I really can't be asked to um, to get all the Phalanx troops in. We'll just see if Ricky can deal with them. I don't think he's going to die. I have confidence in his experience. There's very little troops left. I think he can deal with this and take the plaza himself. Himself. He carried the team at the end there. Beautiful. What a warrior. Okay, admittedly, he's down to nine. I am slightly concerned. I want to take this plaza. But I don't want to lose Ricky in the process. You know, priorities here. He's my top, top general in the whole of the faction. Wait for them to get off the plaza, um, which they have to do. As I said, they sallied forth. They have to get off the plaza. That, you ran straight past him, Ricky. What are you doing? These guys are staying on the plaza. There's five Prinkapes and one Hastati. We can take them. Screw that. A big, long charge down the street. We can take that. I'm not having that. Ricky is not being defeated by those lads, even though I think we've got the city anyway. Just want, to be, just want to be sure of it by taking the plaza. So, bam, we charge through them. There's still five Prinkapes versus eight Rickies. <laughs> I know they're not called Rickies, but whatever. Um, mm, four. This is slightly more intense than I'd like, but they are down to two. Just get them down, Ricky. Come on, I know you can do it. Where is Ricky himself? Where is the... Where is he? Is that him? Not him. Uh, oh, I can't see. They're moving around too much. Anyway... I think he's about to do it. I think he's about to take the plaza. What a, wow, what a victory that was. What a victory that was. Saying that, there is still another unit coming back to the plaza. Get that one Prinkapes down, you absolute legend. He's been absolutely surrounded. How's he not dead? Come on. Come on. Like he's been crushed against the wall more than anything. Right, get on the plaza. That is game over for the Skippy Eye in Capo, I believe. Well, we've taken the plaza. There's zero seconds. Have we got the settlement? I mean, are you going to say anything? You know what? I'm going to quit and assume we have the settlement. I'll be very, very annoyed if we get screwed out of the settlement. We have it. We have held the plaza. I'll be very, very annoyed. So, exit the battle. Yep. Heroic victory. We absolutely dominate the Romans. We had the hill advantage. We had the phalanx. We had Ricky, who's just amazing. We better have Capua, is what I'm saying. We better have Capua. Oh, we do. Okay, good. Um, right. Remember how much money we gained from this. Um, so I'm going to exterminate them just because they're really unhappy. So 15,162 we need to give away. 15,162, I can remember that. Um, Egypt are doing nothing. Because the turn's still going, if you hadn't guessed. And Britain, ceasefire. Give us 1,400 denarii. Uh, what? Ah, oh, we kind of need to as well because we can't afford. Just, just a ceasefire, please. Oh, for God's sake. All right, all right. I didn't want to give away that much money to the British. I couldn't. Right. Okay, naval fight here. Okay, so this ship's screwed. Stupid Spanish have dealt with them. Fine, whatever. Yeah, 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 just kill them off. I don't care. Okay, we actually won that. Fine. Right, okay, very, very interesting. So, so what was my plan here? Because the, the, they still have Narbo Martius. Yes, the plan was this army of Sithaeus is going to take Narbo Martius, and then Ariogaius was going to go down and do the counterattack um, against the, the Spanish. And we've seen the first Spanish army, the first proper Spanish army we're fighting against, Lucon, um, on our way to this settlement here, which is. Which one is that? Um, honestly, can't remember the name of that one, but it's fine. Um, so, okay. Fascinating. Ariel Guys is versus Lucon. And we have more men. We have good phalanx. No missiles this time, unfortunately. They have mm, not the strongest of armies. 11, 8, 18. So these three troops are pretty much redundant. These guys are decent. Iberian infantry are solid, and they've got good experience. So, 
yeah, he'll be difficult to deal with. The same with these lads. But, I mean, Barbarian Mercenaries, Balearic Slingers, Spanish Mercenaries aren't amazing. Quite a few Spanish Mercenaries. It's not going to be an easy army. They definitely have the missile advantage. But I think we will have just enough. Um, to deal with him here. It won't be it won't be as easy a battle as you probably think it should be, but it'll be very, very interesting. A good victory against Lucon here. The path to this settlement is clear, and the path to basically the rest of Spain hopefully should be a little bit clearer as well. So let's see how this goes. It'll be very, very fascinating um, starts the episode. Bear in mind we've taken Capua. If we could take maybe a Spanish settlement as well and a couple of others, that'd be pretty cool as well. So let's see how we do against the Spanish. Let's see how it goes. Right, so here we are. It's very slightly foggy out here, um, and I mean, a nice low resolution tree in my face straight away. Okay, this, I mean, is this me, or does this look more like Germania than the north of Spain? This is the north of Spain, and it looked thick forest, and I don't know. Maybe my knowledge of geography isn't as good as I think it is, but this genuinely looks like Germania to me. Anyway, not that maybe, but anyway. So, I'm already noticing a nice hill here, and I do like my hills. So, um, yeah, I think this is a good place to start off with. So what we'll do, we'll have you lot. We're going to do something very, very similar to the last battle, I think. We'll just have you lot at the top of the hill, like that. Uh, we'll have you a little bit more forward, maybe, like that. Beautiful. And then, in fact, come on, go right to the edge of the hill. Come on. That's better. That's beautiful. So, like that. And then um, we'll have you on the flank. This isn't corner fighting because the boundary is beyond this um, purple line. Is that where the red line is? So, you along here. And you along here. Beautiful. Now, we'll have the main general, Ariogeisius, at the back here. And we'll have these two, I'll call them lieutenants. I don't know if that's a technical word. Um, around here and here. Good into formation, defensive mode, blah blah blah, start the battle. Good. So good, that's a that's a solid starting position against a good Spanish army, you know, that is a solid Spanish army. I'm going to slightly move to face them. Um, good Spanish army, but not as good as our German army, that's what I'm saying. So their missiles are going to hurt. Um, what do they have? They have round shield cavalry. Well, they're going to do absolutely nothing unless they flank all the way around here, but even then, heavy cavalry of our generals are better. So these guys are completely screwed. You can charge into the phalanx all you want. You're not going to do very well at all. Um, light cavalry against phalanx is never going to end well for light cavalry. They're going down quickly. They're already shaken. Admittedly, they hit a good place for them, which was the side, rather than actually into the spears. But still, I can't see it making a huge amount of difference. Um, admittedly, they've done better than I thought, but they backed off eventually, which is expected. Okay, so the cavalry did fairly well to start off with, but I can't imagine them doing too well um, to carry on. So, you know what? I'm going to get you to charge into these guys. Come on. Because the, these phalanx is kind of struggling a little bit. Yeah, there we go. The general's charge did the job. Get him down, get him down. I don't want to see these guys again. Beautiful. Our general is just going to absolutely demolish round shield cavalry. There's no way they're going to survive. Admittedly, these guys are doing all right, but they're going to be broken down soon. They charge straight into a phalanx, so goodbye. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> okay, and then there's a unit coming around here, so let's just back off. Who are you? Iberian infantry. Light infantry, very, very fast on their feet. I and mean, as you could see there, they did a good job. Right, what's going on over here? Charging uphill, that's not going to be nice for them. Um, but they, they'll be able to fire missiles, but they'll be less effective. Uphill, they'll be less effective, which is good. And where is Lucon himself? Is that him? That is Lucon himself. Right, who are you? Iberian Infantry snuck around the back, which is interesting. Actually, a relatively good tactic if you're facing Germans is to sneak around the back and fire missiles or just charge into the back of the phalanx. They're not very manoeuvrable. So Iberian Infantry actually did quite well there. These guys are going to suffer. I can't imagine Barbarian Mercenaries... Yeah, there you go. They collapsed. Can't imagine Barbarian Mercenaries and Spanish Mercenaries doing a good job. Why are you backing up? Sorry, pause for a second. Why are you backing off? Like, you're literally backing off. What are you doing? Get around here, and where I told you to. You're on defensive mode. What? Okay, somebody's, de somebody's dead. Let's pause for a second. Who's dead? So, Lucon is dead. Okay. Right. I didn't even realise Lucon had charged, but he's dead. Brilliant. Well, the rest of the army should pretty much collapse. I mean, I can't imagine 
Right, so, uh, yeah, okay, this is very, very interesting. First of all, go away. You kill him. Now, it's not all the whole army's collapsed yet, but I still want to get some of them down. So you come around here, start chasing off these units to the right flank, which have um, already started routing. So, yeah, light cavalry should be able to outrun the heavy cavalry, but they weren't clever enough to do so. Admittedly, that is a lot of cavalry, so let's just get the general in as well. Uh, okay, no, they broke. It's fine, it's fine. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Just go there. Who are you? Iberian infantry. You're shaken. Good. You're about to die. Pause again. You. Basically, chase off the first away unit. Just get them all down. Um, couple of units left. Nothing particularly strong. I want you to also come around the side. Do the same as that general. You can deal with the Iberian infantry. Beautiful. We are doing a solid, solid job here, I think. Um, Iberian infantry. Let's see how well they do. They have good experience. Wavering, can they just break quickly? They're still wavering. The our general hasn't had any hits against him, and he's routing. Good. Um, you, you're routing. Okay, that's fine. You just go first away there. Yeah, everyone's doing their jobs nice and beautifully, actually. Um, so you're about to charge into the back of a phalanx, admittedly, but still you'll probably die. Um, in the process of doing that, so it's fine. Yeah, just get those Iberian infantry down. The Spanish have done quite well in sneaking around the back. Why are you backing off? Is this a glitch? What are you doing? You morons! When did I tell you to do that? What are you doing? Get in position! I, I, like, is that me? Did I click a button to tell them, start walking backwards in the middle of a battle? Did, did I press a button to do that? I don't remember doing that. I didn't even know there was a button. A button? A button? I didn't know there was a button just to get them to start acting like idiots for no reason. Oh dear. Right, pause for a second again. You, like, why are you fighting barbarian mercenaries? Complete waste of your time. You get these guys down. You, um, you're not going to be able to outrun the light cavalry. So there's literally no point in you fighting them. Just get the Spanish mercenaries as well. Um, yeah. Very odd behaviour sometimes. Okay, let's get back up here. The majority of the army is retreating. I think they pretty much all are retreating, to be honest. So let's get the general thundering down the hill, get some Valeric slingers down, or something like that. Beautiful stuff. You, you're not doing anything. So you chase them off. You uh, get some barbarian mercenaries down. We have done the majority of it now. We have three generals to mop them up. Still, only just over 50% of their army dead, but I think that will go up very, very quickly once this general starts thundering down that hill. You get these Balearic Slingers down. It's going to be a lot of mopping up now, but a good start against the Spanish. We've killed their general. We've killed a lot of their men. It'll be interesting to see how much force they have um, everywhere else. Now, these Balearic Slingers are steady. They've obviously had the order to retreat, which is fair enough, because that's what I'd do properly if I was in their position, because they're pretty much screwed. But, yeah, okay. Very interesting. So, General Ariel guys is just get these skirmishes down, but the majority of the job uh, is being done. So the plan is, well, what's the plan now? First of all, you, like, what are you doing? Just get these, run. Is everyone so slow today? Right. Um, somebody's dead. Hopefully it's not one of our gen... It is one of our... Who died? Chariomerus of Regina. One of them died. I'm not sure. It was you. You died, you died for some slingers. Oh my, I didn't even... Oh, whatever. Whatever. We were bound to lose a general today. I've been pretty, you know, blasé about my attitude with the generals. Still, a little bit annoying. Um, okay, anyway, what I was saying. My plan to deal with the Spanish, basically, is just to storm the whole place. I don't normally like taking Spain, and my reason for that is, is there's so many settlements that are just spread far out, and they never seem to be that profitable, or anything like that. And the Spanish armies are relatively difficult to deal with sometimes, but I feel like we have a strong enough army, and we just need to get rid of the Gauls as well as the Spanish. We can just do quite well, so, you know, I'm just kind of thinking we'll take Spain, although I do want to focus on the British as well. There's so many issues. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how strong the Spanish force is, see if we want to conquer the whole place, but if they want to cease fire, I will probably agree to that, because I have no real intention of taking the whole place, but it would be nice if I could, considering I haven't done that on YouTube before. So this is another glitch. I can't attack these Balearic Slingers, because apparently they've left the battle. 
but they're still on the battlefield. Are they going down? They're going down at least. If they couldn't be killed, that'd be really annoying. They've left the battle, but they're still here. You're the, you're the ghost men, and you're actually killing some of my bodyguards as well. And I can't attack them. If I run through them, hopefully we can just kill them. Very odd, though. No, I don't know what's going on. They've left the battle. Right, let's just kill the one remaining unit, which is these guys, and hopefully um, everything will be fine. Yeah, there you go. Victory. Um, yeah, let's just continue. Get the experience. Why not? These Balearic Slings are cheating. Oh, well. Um, so, Ario guys, yes, killed about 1,200. They killed about 77. So, I'll take that. You know what? I'll take that indeed. That's a very, very good, very good battle indeed. Good start against the Spanish. Will this turn find the end? I think it will now, but um, good start. Good start to the episode, I'd say. Okay. And that's everything. So, candidate for adoption. Elric of Magun... Oh, I can't even never say that place. Brave, plus two morale. He's a little bit older than I usually like, but brave is such a good trait. Yeah, why not? i uh, bring you into the family. Okay, so heroic death, which was this geezer. Well, uh, I didn't even know who you were before today, so it doesn't really matter. Um, end of term report. Strongest faction should be us. No, it's Egypt. Very interesting. Okay, I would disagree with that, but okay. We are the most advanced faction. Ceasefire in effect between Spain and Carthage. And faction destroyed. The Scipii? Wait a minute. Oh, we, we just destroyed, destroyed the Scipii and I didn't even know it. Yeah, because they lost the whole of Sicily. I forgot this. They, they lost the, they've they lost Misana to the rebels. Oh my goodness, because we killed their faction leader. There was no one. So... Wow. So, the Greeks could potentially take the whole of Sicily. But we're not going to let them do that. But still, wow. Okay, what? That, what a, that's madness. That's madness. It's, it's kind of been a crazy episode so far. But it's gone very, very well. So, I'll take that. So, first of all, Capua. Well, we... Ah. Now, we need to get rid of some money. It was 15,162. I'm pretty sure it was. If it wasn't... I'll go back in editing and make a note and then take away the right amount of money. But I'm pretty sure it was 15,162. Who are we giving it away to then? Um, this is our diplomat. Who are you? You are Greek. We don't want to give it to the Greeks. They are getting quite strong now. They can have the whole of Sicily if they want it. Let's just give it to the... Oh, the Armenians. I like the Armenians. And they're nowhere near us. Shouldn't be a threat. Skunska of somewhere. Um... Hi, we, I've never met you before. Can we have some map information? And oh, also I'll give you 15,000 denarii because... Because of rules. Rules that I set on myself. So 15,162. I'm pretty sure that was the number. Good. Uh, how about that? If they decline this... Okay, good. Um, so we have some map information of Armenia. I'm not even sure if we had that map information before. But anyway, we have it now, which is good. Um, so we have a bit of money still, which is excellent stuff. So... Right, what do we do now? First of all, let's deal with the Spanish. So, Narbo Martius has not a lot in it, but a decent amount of some troops. So, oh, it's literally just Sicethus. Ah, because we're bringing this army over. I remember now. Okay, so this army besieged Narbo Martius, beautiful, and uh, build just a couple of rams. Now, build a ram. I'll oh, go on, build two rams, why not? Build two rams, and then you. Sycethus, or whatever your name is, join Captain Hengist. I remember the plan now. There we go. Now that is a little army. Anyone else? No, nobody that I want to join. So that's fine. That situation there. Okay, so this army is basically going to storm towards Numantia, but it can take Oscar, which is the place that I forgot its name, on the way. Why not? So we're going to edge towards Os Oscar, and there is an army outside. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Um, that's beautiful. So what we're going to do, we're going to besiege Oscar, this army will attack us, and we can win in, the, in a defensive battle. I'm not even going to bother to build a ram, I'm that confident. Oh, go on, I'll build a ram. But still, that's beautiful. So we can take Oscar next episode. I'm very, very confident of that. Now, as for this army, I'm surprised they've got it this far, to be honest. Um, and so, four men, not particularly strong. We don't know how strong Numantia is. And these guys can't move out now, which is yes. kind of an oversight of mine. 
Let's edge slightly towards them. Um, what they got? What they got? Not, I mean, skirmishers. You know, they're pretty terrible. Oh, screw it. Let's attack Numantia. There's Spanish nearby, so I think they were about to go for it, but uh, we we beat them to it. So maybe we can take Numantia relatively soon. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, Oscar is under siege. So is Nabo Marty. So three settlements under siege, which is what I want to see. Now, some more breather. Only two turns until surrender. I maybe should have accepted that ceasefire. <sighs> okay. Um, we'll see. Right, the Germans. The Germans? Um, the Bruti. Um, they're enemies of the Germans. Before we continue, I must remember the rules. So, lower the tax rate and then get rid of any buildings which give us money. So, we need to get the calculator out, I believe. So, the market we need to get rid of as per the rules. That is 400 denarii, which we are not allowed to claim. So, we'll have to give it to someone. Probably the Armenians again. 400. Um, Temple of Saturn. Does that do anything? No, it doesn't. So, that can stay. Ah, oh, Anything else? We can't get rid of that. The Hippodrome, I don't think, gives us any money. It doesn't, though, because we can't hold games. So, just 400 denarii. So, Armenia... Where are they? Yes. Guess what? You get another 400. Just because if you weren't rich enough... 400. There we go. Beautiful. Right, so, that's done. Now, Capua. Well, we need to retrain some troops, I think. But to be honest, I mean, there's two settlements. There's Trentum and there's Croton. Croton is basically undefended, although there is this army around uh, of Captain Kaizo. Do we really... Yeah, we kind of do need to stock up at Capua. Come on. So retrain at Capua. We'll retrain these units. Like that. And we'll add... So we get barbarian like cavalry, which are, I'm sorry, barbarian noble cavalry, which are actually all right. So you know what? Get some barbarian noble cavalry in. Because why not? So, they're stocking up. You, Harry Orphus, need to move down towards Terentum. So just start moving in this direction. And yeah, you are going to be dealing with the Bruti very, very soon. You can't quite reach. Any exceptional mercenaries? Good, but not worth it. The, the amount of money they cost is too much. Okay, so that's the situation there. Rome. Um, we can bring a few troops down from Rome, maybe, but we can definitely bring Lutgardis down, for sure. So Lutgardis, make your way down, mate. Make your way down towards the Brutii. That's that's wonderful. Please do that. I mean, we'll bring we'll bring another... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. That's nice. Okay. Bit of unhappiness. We might change the capital in a minute. Now, Samara so Breva, we can't... We literally can't do anything. I mean, there are the odd unit around, but nothing really that we can do. I think we're going to leave it and just pray the offer as a ceasefire again. Otherwise we'll have to sally forth and we are well, well and truly screwed. We will form an army though. Um, so what I'm going to do, we... Where's our nearest port to Britain? This is what I mean. It's ridiculous. There are no ports in this region and I can't build them because it's against the rules. If we just started with a port in Bordersholm, that would be so beautiful. But we can't. Nearest port I believe is Carolus. So Carolus, you're going to have to start pumping out um, boats. Just do that. Okay, this boat. This fleet is alright, but again, if it deals with Spanish, then it might be a little bit screwed, but whatever. We need to start getting armies towards Britain and sorting them out once and for all. So where's the capital at the moment? The capital is Segesta. Okay, it kind of needs to be moved very slightly. Maybe Aretium would be a better capital. Still, Araminum is still unhappy. Despite the fact that it's right next to the capital. What? And it's got a low tax rate. Tavern doesn't make any money, does it? That's a bardic circle. Okay. Um, it costs money, though. Look, quite a lot. We do get the enabled trading of night raiders, who are pretty badass, to be fair. I'm just going to recruit a spear warband and hope they're okay by next turn. I can't really afford to do much else. Now, the final thing we're going to deal with this episode is the Dacians, who we are moving up north against. So, Carolus is not really sure what you're doing. We have Vicus Marcom. Ah, he's waiting for the other army to come up north, isn't he? He's waiting to be joined by Ad Adalberina of Aventicum. Fine. So, you come over here. Yeah, you you're going to start dealing with the Dacians. You join your friend. This is going to be quite the force. The Dacians aren't going to know what to do. We can take these sediments back, um, which belong well and truly to us. So, I think we've done all we can this turn. I don't really think we need to do a lot more recruiting. We should be fine. 
Um, yeah, I think we're fine. I don't think we need to do a lot more recruiting. The only position I'm worried about is Samara Breva. We might lose it. We'll just have to recruit around and then get it back. It's annoying because we've spent so long trying to defend Samara Breva. But oh well. Um, so yeah, we will end the turn and we'll end the episode on this note. Let's see what happens to end the episode. Okay, end turn. Brutii, don't do anything. Egypt, never seems to do anything either. Britain, don't do anything, which is kind of bad because I want them to offer a ceasefire. The Spanish Navy is screwing us over. Ah, yeah, defeat. Okay, well, this naval force is just gone. Right, what is going on? Nothing much. You're pretty terrible, Barber of Teutoburga. You've been in the wars, which is decent, but you're 41 years old, so you could literally die any day, pretty much. Well, not quite, but, you know. We have a bit of money, which is good. Town expands. Yubavum. Where is that? Yubavum. Okay. Yeah, get a warlord's hold. Why not? Get extra stuff. That's... Actually, do we really need that? Honestly, we don't. Because we... the thing is, we can't get better traders or anything like that, because we're not allowed to, so the... Upgrading settlements doesn't really have much benefit. Most advanced faction is Egypt. I don't know what they're doing. They must be doing pretty well, though. Um, agent found of Dacia in Lovacy. Well, whatever. We can deal with that. Recruitment and then diplomatic. Thrace and Brutii allies. We could potentially be at war with Thrace at some point. They're not too near us. It shouldn't be a big deal. Right. So there's quite a lot going to happen next episode. Numantia, we will fight for. Oscar, we will fight for. That should be pretty straightforward. Narbo Martis, we will fight for. Potentially three settlements taken there. At least two. At least these two, but potentially three. If we eliminate the Gauls at Numantia, we might have to defend some more Breva unless I can somehow manage to get the Britons to not attack. Then in Italy, well, um, with these guys actually we can start doing this now. So, Harry Orphus, are you going to besiege Trentum? Or should he go for Croton? I mean, where did that other army of the Brutii go? Where did Captain Kaizo go? I can't see. So what I'm going to do, because Tarentum's a bit stronger, Harry Orphus instead attack this place. Which is, um, I should know. I should really know. What's this place called? We'll find out. Croton. I literally said it like two seconds ago. Um, build a couple of rams, and we could take that very, very soon. That's good. You basically just going to just go down south, but you're not going to be able to reach in time. And then you guys are going to go towards Tarentum. So that's from Capua. Um, we don't need all of you. We will need the majority, though. Um, we'll just leave two lads behind. Is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. So Ricky the Conqueror going to start moving towards Trentum. In fact, um, stop for a second. You might as well just join Lutgardis. So this big army is going to, um, a huge army of Ricky the Conqueror, is going to attack Trentum, which is wonderful. Ricky the Conqueror is really something. He is fantastic. Um, he's even got a floozy, which is not good, but hey, good for him. Yeah, so this is a good army. So we have the potential of taking five settlements, maybe even more, because Dacian settlements, um, which we can put under siege, we can start putting... Is this a Quincum? We, oh, Vic Smar Commoni. I think we probably won't take five. I think we have the potential to take three in the Spain region, one in the Italy region, and maybe one in the Dacian region as well. But we're going to have, by next episode, six settlements under siege, which is fantastic progress in all directions. Really, really solid stuff. It'll be fascinating to see what happens with Sicily, because, well, the Scipio have really screwed up. Um, they, they're dead. Um, so can the Greeks take advantage? You can see already the Greeks. Have you ever seen this? Has anyone ever seen this, where the Greeks have taken the whole of Sicily? I... I don't think I've ever seen that. Unless, obviously, I've played as Greece. But, I mean, the AI taking the whole of Sicily, that's a rare occurrence. It was partly due to us, because we really crippled the Scipio at Capua, but still. But still, that is a rare occurrence. The, the Greeks will take the whole of Sicily. We'll take it off them, but still, that's a rare occurrence. So, that'll be very, very interesting to see what happens with that. But, in general, it's fascinating. Fights on all fronts, but it... You know, it's going pretty well. How many systems do we have? We have 23. By the end of the next couple of episodes, we could be at 30, 32. You know, really starting to make some good progress. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around.